morning, everyone. How are you? Welcome to our Wednesday Support Your Systems class. Looks like we have audio, music. Thank God, because <laughs> what we had this morning was traffic. We had a lot of traffic, and the traffic was unkind to my normal preparatory ritual, which you all who show up live every week, I know you know that it's a little chaotic in general, but many times I try at least to make it here with some semblance of organization. Uh, so today we are going to move through a free flow that is Pilates based. We'll be doing a few things on our knees, a few things standing. I have my little stool here to help me out with the boot. Um, lots of mat work. I will give uh, an option to use a weight if you would like. And actually, I wanted to use my bala weight today. So I'm gonna bring it over here. Um, these links for the circles are in the show notes if you ever want one. This one's 10 pounds. And it's just a nice alternative. I actually think ergonomically it's much more comfortable. Um, but to begin, there needs to be a party when I hit 100 classes, right? 95 today. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think I'll send out an email today that invites everybody in. I, um, you know, it's, it's hard doing all the correspondence and I'm, I've been really trying to simplify my business uh, and my teaching down to the point of just, you know, being able to have things regularly expected and streamlined and rhythmic and routine-like and, you know, life just keeps getting in my way. <laughs> That's all it is. All right, so let's begin standing. I'm gonna stand with my knee on my little, there we go, there we go, on my little stool. Uh, flashlight, which you, I think you can just see his rear at the bottom of the screen. He gave me a run for my money today. There was a dog that was off leash and, you know, look it. I love the idea of letting him be free. I love the idea of letting him run around off leash. The reality is he can't handle it. He won't come back. He'll, he won't run away, but he won't come when I call him. And if he gets too rowdy, he's just still got that puppy energy. And I think there's a lot of dogs that do. And uh, so a dog came barreling towards us on the scooter this morning. And it just, sometimes humans frustrate me. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Not this group of humans. We are in a safe space. Sometimes the wider group of humanity just makes me un unhappy. But there he is. Big stretch flash for you not being great. So he was pulling me all over the place. Okay, are we ready to start? Sorry, I needed to drop in too. It's just like that, that little, just little sad disappointment. We all have it. I don't want it to root. I don't want it to plant a seed for the rest of the day. I got important things to do. I just... I just want people to be more aware. Let's take a deep breath in. Big stretch up. And then all the way down. So I'm trying to get some level of equal weight on both legs here, knowing that my standing leg, my right leg, is going to get a little bit more of it. Let's press all the way down. Let's reach up and we're going to leave our arms overhead. Just shift into your right hip and bend your left elbow and take a little side bend over. Good. Coming all the way up to the center and then go to the other side. Kind of out of frame a little bit, but we'll deal with it, right? All the way up. One of the things that YouTube has given me, especially live streaming, is just like, wow, are we getting to know our imperfections? And I kind of like it. <laughs> Good. All right, come back up to center. Bring your arms to a T and let's heel toe our feet wider. So we're in kind of a wide position here with a lot of openness in the front of your hips. We're just gonna rotate to the right. See what's there for our spine. Come back to center and then go to the left. Twisting around. Coming back to center. Good. All the way back to center. If you turn around, just think of your rib cage nice and easily spinning the top of your pelvis. Let's do one more each side. Reach and come back to center. And last one, reach and come back to center. Bring your arms up to a V. We're going to take the left hand and just trace it down across your body like a sash. 
and then bring it down across your hip. We're gonna to start to round forward, reaching your hand down to your toe. When you get down there, take your fingertips to the ground. If your hand can reach, take your hand there. Just take a moment to breathe into the length of that side of the body. If it feels safe for you, you can turn your head, look up to your hand that's reaching to the ceiling. Good. Bring your focus back down to your hand if you've looked up. Unlock your right knee and roll all the way up, pressing down into that foot, returning to our standing X. We're gonna do the other side. Trace the line along the sash, and then reach it all the way down to the ground. Take your focus up to the hand behind you, only if that feels safe. Good. And then press, unlock your left knee, press, curl your tail under. Come all the way up. Take your arms to a T, flat back forward. So bend your knees as much as you need to. We want that long line. Watch this, wee wee. Long line of support, right like this. We're gonna bend the knees and round the spine, reaching to the ground. And we're gonna try to straighten the legs and extend the spine. Fun, reaching nice and long. So here we go. Bend and round, curl your tail under. Almost like you're gonna roll up, then lengthen out. Reaching nice and long. Bend, press into your heels, lift your abdomen up, and then lengthen out your torso, reaching your arms nice and long. Let's do two more like this. Curling under, yes, this is hard <laughs> on the stool in general and also in life. Yeah, one more time. Round it up. Good. And reach it out. As you round for the last time, let's roll all the way up through the spine. We're gonna toe heel, our foot back into center. And then I'm gonna take this off to the side for the moment. Bring it out of the way. Let's stand at the edge of our mat. And then we're gonna go ahead and reach our arms all the way up overhead and just round forward, taking it over, reaching it down, bending your knees as you get there if you need to, or just enjoying the stretch. Taking a breath in, and releasing out. Good. From here, let's walk down to our hands and knees. Bend your knees right under your hips, hands right underneath your shoulders. And let's just wag the tail right to left. So we're gonna bring our right shoulder blade towards our right hip and our right ear towards our right shoulder. And then we're gonna level everything out through the center. And then do the opposite. Left shoulder blade to left hip, left ear, all the way down, come back to center. The idea is that if you were kind of doing this movement on a table, the whole front of your body would be connected to the table as you wag right to left. Good, let's go again to the side. And back to center. One more time each side. Try to keep your focus straight down. Good. And back to center. All right. Because it's too good of a stretch not to do, I know we did this in stretch class last week, but we're just gonna use it as a prep exercise. Hi, Flash. We're gonna reach the boot out to the side, the boot. <laughs> Your foot is what you're going to reach out to the side. Let me stay in the frame here. And you want that leg just extending out from your hip with a long, flat back. So if that's not gonna happen for you, it's all, it's all right to have it back here just a little bit. Hi. Bye. And what we're gonna do is shift our hips back, trying to keep as much of a flat back as possible. Just a really good inner thigh stretch. You can have your toes tucked or pointed. And then as you come forward, you're shifting forward into the palms of the hands, doing as much or as little as you can. And then reach it back. Big stretch. And then pull forward. Good. And a couple more like this. Just folding in your supporting hip, opening up that inner thigh. Bring it all the way forward, almost dragging your hands along the mat. Let's do one more time here. Good. And bring it all the way forward. We're gonna take our extended leg 
and just bring it back behind us and make a little adjustment here. So your leg is back, your heel is down. Shift your weight into the bottom leg, the bottom arm, and if we can, rotate the top arm all the way up here. So we're in a little bit of a modified side plank right now. Little bit of wobble, little bit of quiver. We're gonna take that arm up and over, push through your palm if you can. Take your focus all the way to the ground and just feel the stretch on the top side of your rib cage, your underarm. Good. And then come all the way up. You can follow that hand if your balance allows to look and reach in the opposite direction. Let's do it again, lifting up. All the way over. It's a really nice integrated exercise. If you can get your focus to follow your hand, you can ground through your legs. But if it's not happening, do just, you know, as usual, do the best you can. Good, one more time, up and over. Oops. Sorry, plants. And lift. And reach. Excellent, let's bring that arm down. Let's go ahead and take a wide knee position and just take a little rest pose, reaching your arms forward, your hips back. Bringing your hands over to your right side and shifting your hips to the left. Bringing your hands over to the left side, shifting your hips to the right. Good, we're gonna come back up to center. Take your hands under your shoulders, find your knees under your hips and then extend the other leg out to the side. And then let's shift it back, sitting over that back heel as best you can. Ah, <laughs> and then bringing it all the way forward. I have this little um, stuffed animal. Well, it's a stuffed cell is uh, more accurate. It's stuffed mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell, as you remember from like fifth grade science, right? Um, flashlight is currently in this <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> Don't steal my powerhouse flash. Let's go back and forth a couple more times, reaching. Uh, and bringing it forward. And one more time, reaching it back. Good. And bringing it forward, and then from here, we're just gonna again slide that leg around. Kind of anchor it down so your heel's down. You can let your other toe kind of rotate out to the side. And then find that side plank position. When you're ready, lift up and over. Look to the ground. Lift up, just your over the side of your body. And again, lift up and over. Reaching. Good. Lift up and over. Stretch. Up and over. Turn your head to the ground. Keep pressing down through that supporting hand. Reaching. And then bring it all the way up and over. Take it down to the ground. Looking for lots of length. Open back to that rest pose, big stretch. Good. Excellent work. All right, let's roll up through the spine. Turn around. We're gonna take it all the way down to the mat from here. So find your heels onto the ground as best you can. Let's just take our hands back behind our legs. We're gonna slowly roll down for four, three, two, and one. Reach your arms up to the sky, palms facing each other. If you wanna walk your feet in a little closer, be my guest. We're just gonna reach the right arm up and then the left arm up. I want you to feel like your middle back, the space between your shoulder blades around your rib cage is getting a little love here. Good, big press and press, pressing down through one to lift the other, yeah? Reach. Good, going for four, and three, and two, and one. Now lower that shoulder blade down. See if you can feel the shoulder blades against the mat, the space between your shoulder blades and your spine against the mat, and just be there for a moment. Just reach your arms down and wide to the ground and then bring them back up to the sky. See if you can keep heavy through your upper back and your rib cage. Reach back up, good. 
One more time. I know this is super duper easy. It's meant to be easy. We're gonna make it a little harder. So arms stay up to the sky. Feel that groundedness through your rib cage. See if you can also translate it into your pelvis. And then bring one leg to tabletop. And then if you're ready, bring the other leg. You can always just go one leg at a time. Concentrate on dropping your weight. Feel the shoulder blades, feel the back. We're gonna open the arms out for two, in for two. Now again, super simple, but if you're focusing on grounding through the back body, then it becomes an abdominal exercise sooner rather than later. I'm gonna cross my ankles, normally I don't, but because my right foot is a lot heavier than my left, I just wanna put it right on my midline. If you're wearing a boot, cross your ankles. If you're not, unless you have a leg that's marginally heavier than the other one, just keep them side by side. Good. Let's go for two. And my awareness is all on the back body right now. Last one. Reach it up, hug it in, and just give yourself a little hug of the knees into the chest. All right. We're gonna go into a little scissoring arms next. So feel the weight that you're able to drop, especially with your knees closer into your body. And then from here, bring them back towards tabletop. Arms reach up to the sky. Take a deep breath in, sink your weight down in the exhale. Right arm goes overhead, left arm goes down by the side, and switch. Our goal is to keep the whole body still and everything connecting to the mat. Switch and switch, and switch, that's it. And switch, last two, stay connected, keep dropping down through your exhalations. Reach it up to the sky, hold here, draw tiny little circles, try not to let your body move at all, just the arms, just the arms. You're gonna feel the work that's needed to keep the torso still, reverse the circles, seven, six, Five, four, hi -oh. three, <laughs> two, and one. Bring your knees into your chest. Good work. All right, that happened. Let's bring our legs down to the ground. Hands come behind your legs or reach to your legs. Let's work on our upper body now, curling forward. Use your hands for help. Climb up a little bit higher, and I just want you to rock side to side for a moment. Sometimes our backs get a little tight around the rib cage. Can you give yourself a little massage across the upper back, the upper rib cage, and just kind of let it go, let it release. Breathing in, breathing out, lower back down. So imagine the back really pliable, really mobile. Let's do it again. Reaching our arms forward, curling up finding that lift, there we go. And then use your hands on the backs of your legs to lift yourself up a little higher than you might normally be able to. Pull up a little higher, stretch through the back. Don't let this be about your neck. Think of it, stay here for a second. Think of it as this distance between your bottom ribs and your hips really stretching as you're in your curl. Good, and then lower all the way down, relax. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's curl up again. Chin comes to the throat, bending the spine. Bring yourself up a little higher. Hold here, reach your right arm up to the sky, and then lower down. Reach your left arm up to the sky, and lower down. Again, reach the right arm up. Hang on to that shape, keep dropping your weight down and your left arm up and lift a little bit higher and lower all the way down. Arms come out to your T. Let your knees go to one side. Just take a little stretch of your lower back, the sides of your torso. Send your waist back to the mat and then go to the other direction. That's it. All right, so we're gonna come into the 100. Now you have some options here. Through the 100, it's beats of the arms. So we're gonna do a little bit of the arm beating. I'll give you some variations. 
The first option is to keep your head down and just work your arms and work the legs and the connection. The second one is to use a hand behind your head and then there'll be options to make it more challenging. All right, my inner thigh is quivering right now, probably because of the scootering. All right, arms up to the sky, feel the width of your back, the weight of your body against the mat, deep breath in. Curl up or stay or take a hand behind your head. Use your hands on the backs of the legs to come up one inch higher. Hold it there. We're gonna pump, breathe in and out. Two pumps for a breath. Breathe down into the mat, keep your chin in, keep the back of your neck long. If you're ready, you can bring one leg to tabletop. Everything has to amplify a little bit more when you add the legs. If you're ready, you can bring your second leg up. Good. If you're ready, you can lengthen those legs up to the sky. I know it's a long one. It's 100 beats. We're probably going a little bit over. Now, this, le this leg is really heavy, so bring your heels together, toes apart. If you want to, you can bring your legs to the low diagonal. With the weight of my boot, that's about as far as I'm willing to go today. Good, we go for four, three, two, squeeze the inner thighs tight. Last one, bring your knees into your chest, roll your head, neck and shoulders all the way down. Look your head over to one side. Look it over to the other side. Good, come back to center. Just take your hands behind your head and just lift your head slightly, pull your head away from your shoulders so you get a good amount of space between your neck excuse me, your ears and your shoulders. Let's lower one leg down, hands behind the hamstring of the other one. I'm holding on to my right leg. I know I keep switching which leg is the right one. I'm gonna stay with the real one for me. We're just gonna extend the leg up and then bring it down. Now, as you extend and bend, I want you to pretend like you're moving through a solid substance. We talked about this a little on Monday. Think about pressing through Bringing it all the way down. Good. Pressing it up. Bending it down. I probably should take the boot off for this because it's definitely extra weight or add the ankle weight on like I did last time. I just forgot about it. <laughs> it's all right. Lower down. <laughs> Good. Reach it up to stay. Okay, so you can use your hands on the back of your leg to circle your leg around in your hip socket or you can bring your arms down by your side. I'm gonna keep this leg bent. I want you to drop your weight again. See if you can circle your leg around without moving anything inside. So we're gonna go across, down to the side and up. I'm doing this slow on purpose so your focus can be on your connection with the mat. If you see me play with my new little toy, it's like a little spine piano where you're supposed to keep the keys down. This awareness makes this exercise twice as effective, just keeping your back engaged to the mat. The whole thing, not your lower back, your whole back body. If your lower back touches, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. Do as much as the other pieces. Let's go in the opposite direction. So right now I've got my shoulder blades, my rib cage, as much of my waist as I can muster, my pelvis, the sides of my body, trying to stay wide as wide as possible. Good. Two more times, out to the side, bring it down, bring it across. Last one. Good. Hold it here. We're gonna lower the leg, two, strong here and four, and then lift it up, fold in the hip, I know. Three, four, and again, lower. Two, three, four, and fold and lift. Two, three, two more times. Down, two, 
three, hover above the ground, then fold, create that crease up to the top. As you lower, your body gets heavier. You go as low as you can without popping your back and then lift up, two, three, good work. All right, turn out your leg, cross your ankle over your opposite knee. This might be enough of a stretch right now. Let's stay here for a moment. I just wanna get my ankle weight to balance out the other foot because I'm afraid I'm gonna hobble around more off than I already am. And luckily it's right here. So this is not to make it harder, this is to balance it. So it's a concerted um, choice on my part. I'm just feeling the way that my pelvis is being twisted because my legs weigh different amounts. This is better, okay? All right, if you're here, go ahead and thread the needle and pull them up. Now both legs are heavy. And just think of your knee pressing into your ankle, opening your knee out to the side. Whew. Just enjoy the stretch for a minute. Good, release all the way down. Let's take this leg, just bring it up, give it a shake, and then lower it down to a bent position, okay? Let's bring the other one in, hands behind the hamstring. We're gonna lift it up and then lower it down, nice and easy. You don't have to have an ankle weight on to make this work for you. Part of it for some of you is gonna be more of a stretch than a press, pressing through a solid substance ex exercise. And do a couple more. Just let it be what it needs to be. I did a little poll in my Instagram feed um, this week and we were talking about like what really makes a group class and and what doesn't. And some of the things that came in were just like really reflective of I think why we're all here. Let's do one more. Good. So I'll set you up for this exercise. I'll tell you the rest of the story. So reach the leg out, arms out to the side. We're gonna cross it over, bring it down, bring it out to the side. Oh, and don't lose your connection as you do the four points. So we go one, two, it's almost like a diamond, three, or if you want to make it a diamond, I'm not going to take points off. There are no points. So people were talking about like how so much of fitness is just focused on youth and um, endurance and power and how like there, it takes a special level of, I don't know, education, in some case, intelligence and, and process for an instructor to really apply those things appropriately to a body in its middle age. And I was like, yeah, that's what we do here. Last one in this direction. So it just was kind of reassuring. Let's go in the opposite direction. I am assured inside. It's just the fitness industry in general only points to one thing being important. And usually that's, <laughs> as you know, youth and thinness. Um, we are carving out literally a new paradigm in this channel, so I hope that is evident for all of you. Doesn't mean we can't sweat, doesn't mean we can't go hard, it does mean that we're having some consideration for our overall health, our holistic health, everything. And I have to tell you, it's interesting to me. Go one more time. Last. One, all right, cross that ankle over, take your figure four. What I'm noticing from resting is um, a little less swelling in overall, which is interesting. I haven't quite figured it out, but let's dive our hands through. I've recently completed a, a hormone health certification that's just kind of, um, health is not that hard. <laughs> It's just, it's hard to navigate through with temptations, okay? Especially from the stuff that we've got going on in the media today. Um, but essentially, it's, you know, getting your sleep, not overdoing it, making sure you're exposing your body to different temperatures and not only keeping it in a state of comfort, but also not overwhelming it with too much stress. That's really, it's just like, yep, duh. And yet we still, we still struggle, don't we? All right, let's rock ourselves up for a second. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, so 
I'm going to invite you, and literally it's an invitation that you may decline, I'm going to invite you to use a, a, a um, weight should you want to, okay? It's up to you. So if you are going to use a weight, then we are going to um, come in. Oh, here we go. Once again, I implore you, we are not commenting on people's bodies. Huh? Yep, be here, move with us. That's it. That's it, okay. All right, here's what we're doing. <laughs> we're, having, we're gonna have a breakdown. Circle or weight, if you're holding a dumbbell, just hold it on both sides. Bring it up to your chest. Drop your shoulders down. If you have to do this standing because your knees, that's fine. If you wanna do it seated in a chair, that's okay too. We're gonna take the weight up to the side, over your shoulder. We're gonna bring it back behind your head. We're gonna bring it over to the side. And then we're gonna bring it back down in front of your face and to your chest. If you're choosing not to work with the weight, I want you just to interlace your fingers. Do the best you can to do a little like miniature cabbage patch is maybe what we could call that. It's gonna be a little harder. You can always pretend to hold a pillow, hold a ball, something like that. All right, so we are here. We're gonna go to the side. We're gonna go to the back. We're over to the side. We come in front of the face, we lower down. This is just a little shoulder mobility. To the side, to the back, to the side, and all the way down. We're gonna go again slow. So stack it vertical, bring it horizontal all the way, stack it vertical in front of the face, horizontal to the chest, then up to the vertical, to the horizontal, to the vertical, face, chest, a little faster. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, twice as fast. Around and center, again. Around and center. Again, around, ooh, and center. Don't knock yourself in the face. <laughs> and center, one more time each side. Around, it didn't hurt. And center, one more time. Around and center, good. All right, holding your weight, holding your dumbbell horizontally or holding your hands, thumbs up, we're going to the shoulder, we're going back down. Stay lifted, strong in your core, yeah? Good reach and lower. Draw the shoulder blades back enough to feel your chest widen. Got a little bend in my elbows, trying not to lean back as I reach front. I know. Up and lower. Two. Down. Last one. Lower down to stay. Keep holding the weight the same way, just bicep curl up and down. If you've got no weights, you just lift in those thumbs to your shoulders. That's it. Good. Up and down. Up. That's right. Even weight through your legs, through your sits bones. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, we'll come back to both of those in just a moment to make two sets. Now, we are going to do a little side bending. Again, you can stand and do this in a wide stance. You can sit on your chair, or you can join me on one knee with the leg out to the side. This ought to be interesting. If you're seated, think vertical. If you're standing or kneeling, press your hips open. We're gonna take it down to the ground. We're gonna take the hand behind the head, and this is literally small. So what I want you to do is lift up to your fingertips and lower down. If you're standing or sitting, you're thinking about pressing your top rib up and side bending over. Lift and lower. It's like a finger push up, but you're lifting from your torso, pressing the bottom side of the torso up to the top. Good. Lift and lower. Good. Four. 
no joke, right? Three, keep pressing down through your inner thigh, down through your inner ankle, two, and over, and one, and over to stay. Reach that top arm up, stretch it over like we did before, but this time we're gonna take it in a big circle. Reach it down to the ground. This time, slice it back, open your chest to the sky. Big stretch back, oh, that feels so good. Should we go one more circle? Let's do it. So we're going over, we're using our arm to really stretch the side of our torso. Good. Reaching back, reaching out to the side. Good. All right, let's take our hand back up. See if you can press up onto your fingers and come all the way up to the top. Not the easiest. Bring your knee back in. Take it out to the side. All right, reach it over. Again, if you're standing, you're just doing a little side bend to the ground, going as low as you can, and then we're trying to lift up and down. It's almost like your elbow is attached to a string and it's being pulled up. I want you not to use so much of your hands, just more moving your torso through space. Oh, there's that stretch. Good, sometimes an exhale can help. Good. Two more. Lift, reach, lift, and stay. Reach that arm over, take your focus down, reach it down again. Let's take that big stretch back. Oh, and then all the way over, groaning. I don't think groaning is optional at this point. Good, bring it all the way down. Good. All the way over, hand behind the head. Press up through the center. Bring them back together. Come to standing seated or whatever you like. We're gonna go one, through, one more time through. Here we go. All right, shoulders back, We're lifting to chest height, lowering down, lifting up, lowering down. That's it. Good work here. Keep growing through the spine, working on reaching from your back body. What does it feel like to reach your arms forward from the back? Good, last one. Lower down bicep curls. We go up and lower. Just keep it nice and measured. Good. Keep going up and lower and up. Good, thank you, Tracy. Yeah, I like where we're at in this little, if it's just a corner of the internet, that's fine. I can still speak out on what's annoying though. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like sometimes you can't ignore it all. There's a lot more people out there in the world that are looking for the same experiences, that are rolling with the same shortcomings, the same injuries, illnesses, just or just don't have the motivation to be an elite athlete because that's kind of okay, you know? It's actually really okay. There's a lot, a lot of people out there, last two. There needs to also be a place for those folks, you know? rest. And I think that they're often the people who serve these populations are maybe not as vocal out in the world, which is all right. You know, a lot of the caregivers are a little more introverted and maybe they are just not lit up by making videos and speaking out about things, etc. So that's okay. That just means we have to keep talking about it. So hip, over hip, bottom leg is bent, top leg is reaching. Open your chest nice and wide. You can use your other hand for balance. I'm going to, I'm gonna be kind to myself. Lift up, leading with your heel, and then lowering all the way down. Just try to think of that heel being right in line with your hip. I watched a little video of my side leg lifts the other day and, um, from our class, and I was ending up lifting a little too far in front, which is just a little taxing on my quadricep tendon. Nothing wrong with it, it's just not what I, it's not the experience I wanna have with the exercise, let's put it that way. So I want it a little more back of the leg, so I'm gonna be a bit more bias of my leg reaching to the back of the 
mat. We just got very zen in here, didn't we? <laughs> we might, I might need to put on a different playlist to keep us going, but we'll figure it out. Good, four, and lift, three, and good, two. Let's bring it up and hold. We're gonna just drive that knee up towards your elbow if it's in front, and then press it back behind you. We did something similar the other day. Drive it in and press it back. Keep going, drive it in and press it back. I think we got to the breathing part a little sooner than I want to. <laughs> drive it in and press it back. Drive it in and press it back. Drive it in and press it back. Last three, good. Last two, yes, let's see what we got right here. And last one, press it all the way back. Lower it down behind you. Almost there. Sorry, guys. Sometimes, you know, for me, the music matters. Next one. There we go. All right, so that leg is back behind you on the mat. We're gonna lift it up and do a couple pulses here. So we're here. We're just gonna pulse. Pulse, just to drive that point home, yeah? With a little bit more action towards the back, towards our hip extensors. We're strong and supporting our spine. We're lifted from underneath. We have four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna bring this leg all the way around. If you can, I want you to, ooh, it's tight. Stand on that um, foot. If it's not there for you, maybe just bring it in front as much as you can. I want you to get an outer thigh stretch. So things somewhere across the body close to you where you can manage the stress and the stress stretch and it's not really harming, you know, it's not feeling like too much of a struggle, okay? Our arms are gonna be down. You're trying to get both hips down. We're taking a side bend up and over. We've done a lot of side bends today, but that's okay. We're gonna reach all the way up and through. Try to ground down the sits bone of your top leg and then side bend over. Good. And all the way up. Thank you, Colleen. I appreciate you all. Oh, I really do. Good. Lifting all the way back up. One more time. Bring it all the way over. Good. Lift it all the way up. And then from here, take this top foot and just come into a little side sit. And I want you to turn to towards that leg. Now, if you don't feel much of anything across the side of your leg, try to extend the leg and turn towards it. Sometimes it helps if I give a little pressure here. Excellent. All right, let's go to the other side. Moving this out of the way for right now. Come down on your other hip. Yeah, no one ever talks about an injury. It's just like they're out. It's the same thing with the, let's just start lifting our leg. So there's, I think I told you all about this before, there's this whole um, Instagram account that kind of calls out people who are going on weight loss drugs and things like that. So they say the number one uh, way that you can tell when somebody's about to engage with some kind of a weight loss drug is if they are, and we're talking about celebrities who are not doing it for their health, like who do not have diabetes, et cetera. Um, they say if they start posing for pictures in or around gym equipment, <laughs> and then they show all these examples, and that's what happens. People, like they post a couple pictures, they don't talk about what, what happened, they don't talk about the choices that they made or why they made it. I don't have judgment surrounding people who are making choices about their body. I believe in body autonomy. I just feel like, so many times they're not telling the full story and so it ends up being like a standard that everybody should do when it's just not not everything is good for everybody let's go lifting up pulling in oh she's on a ted talk today huh yeah 
So not every, honestly, not everybody's gonna wanna work out. Not everybody, look at, you know, how many classes do I teach? A lot per week. Three, four, five, six, seven, at least. Two more. Last one. Push it back, lower down for a second. So I've got seven classes a week focusing on function. So scootering, let's pulse it up. Scootering around with the dog is something that is reasonable for me. Would I suggest it for somebody who has never practiced balance or who wasn't involved in an active like strength training program? I would not. It's not smart for them. It's manageable for me. That doesn't make me better than anybody. It's just the way that I'm choosing to manage it. And in all honesty, it's more for my mental health than it is anything, because it's hard. Good, four, three, two, one. Relax, bring it all the way up. The amount of men oh, who are looking at me weird, I'm not, I'm not, just in case Dick's here, I'm not, I'm not male bashing, I promise, but I just, it's all only the dudes who roll their eyes at me. The women are like, right on sister, when I'm scooting around with the dog or crutching around. The men are like, like, you know, how dare I? <laughs> sigh, sigh, sigh. All right, you all, I can't get this hip down, it's way too tight, so you do the best you can. <laughs> We're gonna work it out. All right, bring it up and over into your side bend. I'm gonna take this leg forward, see that? Modify. Yep, that's what I need to do today. <laughs> up and over. <laughs> Sometimes they get tight. <sighs> Reaching up and over. Good, one more time. We're almost there, everybody. <laughs> Good. All right, last two. I just wanna be honest with y'all. Good rest, bring it around, sit up, turn towards that top leg. If you want to extend the leg out, I want to be honest with you and I want to give you choices. And you already have the choices, just that some, some of them may not have occurred to you before. That's why I'm here. Good. All right. Let's take it open into as wide a position as you can manage, okay? Hands come in front and just walk yourself out nice and easy, even if it's just a couple steps. We're just really working on that inner thigh stretch today. I know that people want to leave and not get the stretch, but this could be the best part of your day. It's up to you. Okay, bring it all the way back. Take both hands over to your right leg and then lift your chest up and stretch forward over that right leg. Make adjustments. You can absolutely do this seated in a chair. Roll up through the spine. Come up, we're rotating just like we did at the beginning of class. And then, yes, good, reach. I often say to people that the only reason why I teach fitness online is so that I can do TED Talks. <laughs> I really want to show you all the, um, the wedding ceremony from my sister's wedding. I think you would love it. Good, come all the way up. Let's make a diamond with our legs. Heels together, maybe feet together if you can. Round forward. Oh, there's that hip stretch. I don't know, for me, it's, I'm feeling it today. Maybe for you too. Deep breath in across the back. Let's roll up through the spine. Let's come back onto hands and knees. Round your spine. Arch your spine. Round your spine one more time. Tuck your tails, tuck your toes under, and then let's bring ourselves back up into a nice long stretch. Reach those heels down as much as you can. Can I? There we go. That works. When you're ready, walk back slowly with your hands to your feet or your feet to your hands and just let your head hang over for a moment. Take that hamstring stretch. 
Let's bend both knees and just roll up a couple inches till your hands hover off the ground and then just let them make a couple of small circles like so. Reverse. Good, and let the circles calm down as we slowly roll up through the spine. This is when I wanted the calm music to happen. <laughs> Good, open your chest, open your heart. All right, my friends, we made it again. Tomorrow, we're back with a full body stretch. I think I'm going to take my boot off tomorrow so we can really get into it. Um, listen, what do you wanna do for our celebration? What kind of class? I mean, obviously I'm still gonna be limited. Um, because it's gonna happen. When's it gonna happen? Today? Actually, I might not be limited, but I don't think I'll be diving in like to cardio bounce. <laughs> so I think it happens on a Monday, if my calculations are correct, because if it's 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, then it should be a Monday. So let me know the format that you want to do. It could be potluck, maybe it's a meditation, maybe it's something totally different. And the other thing I wanted to, um, just gauge your interest on is there is I, I, usually in the fall I do a challenge called fall with grace it's really not a challenge it's an educational opportunity it's really a self-care initiative is what it is um, this year I want to focus on hormone health a bit because again it's very easy to just make some small tweaks not overhauls not like do huge detoxes or cleanses but just like consider a few things we can do I love doing it in the fall before we transition to winter, because especially since I know that so many of you are in Canada, <laughs> in Chicago, and uh, North Carolina, I don't, I don't think it's the, the winter that we do. Is that right, Colleen? Anyway, um, but there is that transition of seasons, regardless of where you are in the world. And when it gets colder and grayer, like we need, I, I like to have a full arsenal of options for self-care. So um, I'd love to know if you're interested in that kind of a thing, whether you drop into the comments or you all have my email, coachjz at jennazafino.com. Shoot me an email. Let me know um, what kind of things you feel like you need in terms of support and what you want to do for our party class because it, it, it did really sneak up on me more than I thought. Yeah, love my TED Talks. Yes, hormone health. And you know, like, just let's qualify it. Whether you're pre, peri, or post-menopausal as a female, or get this, men have hormones too. <laughs> no, it's just, I was, uh, I was being annoying to my husband and being like, you know what you should do is, and he was like, I, like I'm not your client, which is true. I, sometimes we need to recognize that. But in any case, there's hormone health for all of the genders available to all of us. So there's a lot that we can do to, that might give you the boost that just like brightens your spirits. Again, I think at the end of the day for me, it's all about the noggin. It's all about what's going on up here. You know, this is, this is, this is what it is. What you doing, Flash? Flashy, come here. Nah, he's not coming. All right, my friends, I'll see you tomorrow. Full body stretch, um, really good meditation. So make sure you get your pillows and your comfortable stuff out tomorrow. I'm loving this format. Okay.